its grand final week here at Newmarket in Randwick for the 2014 Australian Easter Yearling Sale and day one is just concluding just behind me. There was a lot of strong competition in the ring today with the internationals really showing their presence throughout the day. A special mention must go to a gentleman who's this year it's his 40th Easter Yearling Sale. Well done Adrian Nickel. It's also the first Easter yearling sale for American-based bloodstock agent John Moynihan who made his presence extremely felt straight away purchasing lot 105, a filly by Lonro out of Midnight Joy. It was beautiful theatre in the ring. Two good judges met when John and South African-based trainer Sean Terry were in a bidding duel and John is securing this filly for $840,000. As it stands, currently lot 118, a Colt by Snitzel out of Monterossa, sold by Arafield Stud to the bid of Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa, took out top honours today of top lot, selling for $1.5 million. Here's the full brother to the Group 1 Lightning Stakes winner in Snitzeland. Managing Director Mark Webster will give to you today's sales results and also give you a brief overview of how he thought day one went. Mark, day one is concluded for the Easter Yearling Sale. How have you found it so far? What are the statistics? Look, I think we're off to a positive start, Tanita. Uh, gross sales today, 35 million, uh, not too far off last year. Uh, the clearance rate, 74%. We actually finished day one last year at 73 and then it improved with private selling. So. Slightly ahead of that, I would have, I would have liked a better result uh, with a clearance, but I certainly think uh, uh, it's reasonable, noting we're ahead of last year. Uh, the average uh, price today, 280,000, uh, a little bit behind last year, 305 at the end of day one, but of course we had a five million dollar yielding on day one last year, and that wasn't replicated today, and uh, it was unlikely to happen. We're not expecting it uh, at all. So not bad, and the, the, the median today of 200,000 was right on par with last year. So the stats, once you take out that $5 million colt from last year, pretty much on par, maybe even slightly ahead of last year. Uh, so a really good start, I think, to this particular sale. And Mark, as I was doing my wrap, I thought we'd sold the top lot, but we got another one. Yes, we did. Uh, you were talking, of course, about the brother to Switzerland. Uh, it was a cracking colt offered by Arrowfield. Uh, purchased for one and a half million to the bid of uh, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Maktoum, who's been very active today in general. Uh, but soon after that, uh, we had a fast net rock colt by Perfect Persuasion being offered by Coolmore. He made 1.6 million to the bid of John Warren, uh, the Queen's bloodstock agent, and I think he's putting together a syndicate for that particular colt. Uh, yeah, so uh, it's exciting to finish on a high note. The American-based uh, bloodstock agent, John Moynihan, as I mentioned, he uh, bought one off Taranga Farm for 840000 What are his plans with that? You've, you've discussed it with him. Yeah, John Moynihan is uh, leaving uh, that filly here, and uh, I don't know what trainer uh, she's going to yet. I'm not sure they've decided, but John Moynihan was, uh, bought that filly for uh, Barbara Banke, who is a very prominent uh, racehorse owner in North America, uh, the widow to Jess Jackson. So quite famous over there. Perhaps viewers at home here don't know how important that is, but it is important to have Barbara Banke and John Moynihan investing in our sale. Were you happy with the buying bench? Yeah, happy across the board. There, there was more activity from uh, North America as well. We had B. Wayne Hughes from Spendthrift Farm. Uh, as I understand it, he's an American uh, billionaire who uh, uh, is, is the biggest operator of storage in North America. But he's found his way down here. He actually sold a Tappet colt today for 500000 to Katsumi Yoshida from Japan. So it just shows how international it is. We've got an American bred horse being offered by an Australian start on behalf of an American being purchased by a Japanese, uh, the leading Japanese uh, racehorse owner and breeder. And aside from the Americans, of course, uh, some of our regulars who come down from the Middle East were very active today. I did mention uh, Sheikh Khalifa. Uh, but we also had Angus Gold buying for Sheikh Hamdan. Uh, uh, you'll see him listed as Shadwell Australasia in our results. Angus and uh, Sheikh Hamdan were the leading buyer last year, and they're right up there alongside Sheikh Khalifa and John Warren at the moment. Of course, Angus Gold was very clever last year. He was able to buy a number of lovely yearlings, and I think 10 of them went back to South Africa and I think they've got the best colt and the best filly in South, that two-year-old uh, filly in South Africa at the moment coming from the sale. 
So that was positive. Because, but it wasn't all about overseas interests. There was quite a widespread of buyers here today, uh, and including the locals were very active. Dean Hawthorne, uh, Peter Moody, Gay Waterhouse, um, you, uh, you know, a number of agents, even the syndicators, uh, Triple Crown and Dynamic were active. So it was quite widespread, and it's good that everybody uh, has been able to, uh, to get on the buyer's sheet today. If today's action was anything to go by, I suggest you take a sick day tomorrow and come on down to Newmarket Complex here in Randwick to check out some more of the theatre. We kick off tomorrow with lot 185, a cult by Ch Dali's champion sire, Exceed and Excel, out of the Group 1 Oakley Plate winning mare, River Dove, being offered by Cressfield Stud at 10.30am. 7-2 and TVN will be covering the sales yet again and you can also check in online to our English Live broadcast.